What is going on guys? This is Pixel Dan and I'm out and about. I'm traveling. I am currently in Greenville, South Carolina, and I'm here in town this weekend for Retro Toy Con. Uh, really excited about it. It's an event happening this weekend and it's being put on by Toy Federation. Toy Federation is a toy store here in Greenville. So I came in early for the event, um, and before I go to Retro Toy Con, I had to come over and check out the Toy Federation store. You guys know me, I love doing some toy hunting and a nice mom and pop toy shop. So why don't we go ahead and head inside and see what kind of treasures we can find. Well, this is a pixel and shelf if I've ever seen one. <laughs> we got Skeleton Warriors, we got Predator, we've got Terminator back there. Pretty awesome. Oh, Rambo, some Rambo stuff in here too. But, uh, how about this? You know what this is? <laughs> this is from that movie, Over the Top. That Stallone movie about arm wrestling. And they totally made action figures from it. And you never see these guys. You guys like Thundercats? Because there's Thundercats in here. Or we got Marvel Secret Wars. We got DC Superpowers. Man, there's just too much good stuff here. <laughs> just the things that are here. I mean, look at this. So we got some Exo Squad. We've got Mask. Look at all the Mask figures. We've got a bunch of real Ghostbusters, which ugh, this is something that I've kind of been wanting to, to uh, do some dip, uh, deeper collecting on because I need to replace a lot of mine. So it's really cool seeing these. Oh my gosh. This is a dangerous store to be in right now. <laughs> I love the selection of play sets we got up here. So here, look. This right here, that is not the Ewok Village. That's the Robin Hood Sherwood Forest. Because so they added like the extra foliage to the top and you can see we got some of the Robin Hood figures up there, but I love how the ATST is still hanging out over here. But yeah, that's pretty great. Look at this. We got Boulder Hill from Mask. We've got... <laughs> The Strike Headquarters, the Rambo Headquarters playset, which is another one I don't see very often. We've got some G.I. Joe, and we got some Jurassic Park. I mean, the playsets are amazing. Look at that. Good selection of Moti here. Poor Gwildor back there in the slime pit. <laughs> Check it out. There's a snake face up there. And there's a mosquito. Somebody needs to come in here and buy a mosquito. You can't have a He-Man collection without a mosquito. And he's got his gun, which is a pretty hard to get piece these days. This is a really fantastic selection of Ninja Turtles in this case. And I wanted to show you guys just some of the cool stuff in here. First of all, I love that I'm running into these plushies a lot more often now, but up here, a lot of these guys are real complete too, but some of these guys are pretty obscure, which is really awesome to see. And look at all the accessories on half court. I have a half court, but I don't have all of those accessories. So that is really amazing to see. Mona Lisa up here in the front. And Trax, this is one of my favorites. <laughs> Love that guy as well. Man, what a great selection here. Robotic Bebop. That's another one. Like, I've, I've got this guy at home. I definitely don't have all of his accessories, but you don't just see these guys very often anymore. So while there are so many things to look at on the show floor, 
I was soon ushered to the back room by Ryan, the incredible dude that runs Toy Federation and Retro Toy Con, and he showed me how they organize everything that comes into the store and prep it for sale out on the show floor. Look at all the <laughs> teradromes up there. <laughs> I think flip that one switch, we can get more lighting in here. Which way I don't cut it on you. No, nah, you're fine. Hey, there we go. Hey, there we go. Yeah, that's what we needed. Look at all that. The the, the These are just sharks. These are maggots. These are dragonflies. This is just Star Wars Micro. Uh, that's just flag parts. That's just some Voltron parts. <laughs> this is, you oh know, my God. Uh, the tactical battle platform. There's turtle vehicles. That's, uh... What is that? The bridge layer, the toss and cross. Uh, Cobra stuns. This is headquarters. But, I mean, eventually, you know, these are just vamps. And then these are miscellaneous vamps. These are dragonfly. This dragonfly parts. Uh, and then that's, you know, your, you know, a little bit more special, just like the Rattler right there, Tiger Force. Oh, yeah. But we're, we're sorting. We're getting there. That's amazing, though. Like, here's just Tauntauns, Dewbacks, some Dino Riders. Wow. That's, that, uh, that's He Man. That's the Spidor. Yep, Spidor's down there. This thing's broke. A little bo box of Dino Riders. That I hardly ever get. And Dino they, Riders? They go in the case and then they're gone. They're gone. That's just some miscellaneous parts, but it's... Dang. I wish. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's too much. But, I mean... Well, yeah, these aren't... But, I mean, there's just lifelines or jinxes or... But, I mean, this is just, like, the back area where you work and try to get stuff going but then it's there's just motu you know so there's turtles and legends and just bins of this stuff dang man and we're that's bringing, not that's we're not bringing, even counting that there's totes like this already in the van and ready to go over to the toy show yeah. amazing okay. <laughs> i mean we have bins just full of dragon walkers and and rotars and what <laughs> Oh my god. They're, they're so inexpensive. Yeah. They just keep accumulating. So, yeah. You know, it's going to be just like a $10 wall. Well, this guy too. All right. Is Commander Cash. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. We got a bunch of 2003 stuff right in here. Yeah. There's a. Uh. Savanti Romero. Oh, no, is that. <laughs> that's Savanti Romero, yeah. Is that Star Oh, that's the. <sighs> this is one of the things I've been looking for. They reused the Primal Rage yes, molds that's what I that's what I for, for Ninja Turtles stuff. I checked the foot, and it says we're Mirage Studios. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But we don't have a tail. It's yeah, amazing. Yeah. Oh, but the tail's missing. Right. Yeah, but see, it still has the little trap door on it uh -oh. because they ate cavemen. The Primal Rage figures right, could eat right. cavemen, yeah. and then it's got the little trap door so that you could pull the cavemen back out of it. So now, did they that's upscale great. this? Because the Primal Rage... Is so they had, they had large-scale oh. Primal Rage figures, too. Um, so, because, like... This came with a turtle. I think this one came with Leo, and then they reused the uh, the Yeti like one okay. that had like the rooted hair, yeah, yeah. and that one came packaged with Raph. <laughs> but they just like build them as like Raph versus the Yeti, you know, Leo versus this T Rex. <laughs> but yeah, man, it's like a tiny bit of label. Oh, the leg like, just popped right off. <laughs> oh yeah, well look at that. That's amazing. But who knows? See, some of this stuff hasn't even been gone through. Yeah. It's just. Oh, all the that's so cool. In a bin. So that's so cool. You want it without the tail? Uh, yeah. Right uh, <laughs> Seriously? Sure. Oh my god, he's amazing. Thank you. <laughs> you can have him. I might have completed him. Oh, uh, so something. good. Yeah, put away I, did, I just bought a crusher not too long ago. Oh, sweet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's so cool. He's so nice. Yeah, yeah look at that. Yep. It's, it's amazing. Yeah, it's Classic too. Mattel toy. I just bought this at a, a PowerCon. I found my PowerCon in the box and bought it. It's yeah, such a cool... Such a cool classic toy. See, that's the problem is... Having the box with these, though, is like... scrunched, grows up. That's so funny, right? Yeah, it's amazing. I just... I love that artwork, man. Yeah, like, see, I that's, feel... That's what I'm a fan of, is the packaging. Exactly. You don't like, that anymore. The package... For a toy like this, the packaging is like... It's part of it. Like, you... It's like the growing line. <laughs> <laughs> Look at... It's like this little puddle down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa! Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the packaging's what gets me so yeah me too I have this weird habit of collecting paperwork and obscure 
you know, oh, that's great. Books. Oh, that's, like, that's awesome. Like, who this guy is? Well, it's Team America, but we, it's not. But it's not like but we we can't get it to match that coloring. The knockoff. But you know, maybe yeah, if we look yeah, now, it clean. might be boom. There it is. But when we researched it, you know, it's like the paint. They reverse the coloring. Really? And we yeah. just couldn't. So do you think it's just like a knockoff or a bootleg where they did yeah, that? Well, it could have been. Is there no information anywhere on this no. guy? <laughs> no. Because I mean, they redid the old Evil Knievel wind up with right. Team America. Right. I just couldn't match that coloring. Wow. So like, well, until we know what it is, we don't let it out. Maybe somebody will know. Well, for for now, that's our longest going mystery. So. We have to solve this mystery. <laughs> We're going to call him Johnny Motorcycle. Johnny Motorcycle. We need Johnny Motorcycle's real name. Must. If you know. Some random 5.5s over here. Uh, the, yeah, those are... Uh, Remco, no? No, no, no. They, they first made Sun Man. Okay, uh, Omec toys, right? That's it. That's yeah. Yeah. Oh, these are awesome. And I think one's a boxer and one might be a soccer player. Real? Oh, yeah, yeah, wow. Yep. Yeah. So closer inspection of the copyright information shows it's actually Ebonine Toys, 1987, who produced a pretty rare 5.5 line called High Five Sports Stars. You want to sell one of these guys? Sure. Sure. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I love anything in the 5.5 scale, so... Yeah. We're going to take that. And finding, finding random obscure ones like this is always a thrill to me. Yeah. We have boxes of stuff like this. That's yeah. amazing. It, yeah, it comes in. Yeah, that's cool. awesome. I want to grab one of this. I want to grab this. Yeah, yeah, so put that in your... You got your dinosaur, too. Yep, yeah. my dino's over there. Get that. <laughs> but see, you could probably go insane here. Here I am. You just leave you in this back room. Boy, if this doesn't say Pixel Dan, I don't know what it is. I just came in this <laughs> I came in this back room and picked up a random 5.5 figure and a Ninja Turtles dinosaur. I mean, <laughs> that's 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 how I roll, I guess. <laughs> this is really cool. You ever seen one of those? Oh, it's a pool. I remember seeing this in stores. Yeah. Oh yeah, the the rim. That's right. Wacky Poppin' Pool. Look at that. So so Donatello corner. So like what? The characters yeah. pop out of the pockets? Yep. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Yeah, I've never seen... Remco. I mean, you could find it. It's just difficult to find with all the pieces. Yeah, of course. And just oh, that is so cool. And this just works in progress. Just overflowing. You know, that just, again, like in the other room, just oh, Joe yeah, Parts. Look at all or, the missiles or, sorry, for the battle ram. <laughs> wow. So, you know, when we sell one on the shelf, you know, grab a bag. Just grab one out That's here. That's cool. That's like a little kid's wristband. What? Right? Isn't that cool? Yes, this is amazing. And this is this is, this is is where I'm at with my He-Man collecting. You collect the weird stuff. That's, that's uh, this is what I like to find. I like I to find weird stuff that I've never what, seen before. What's the rack, rack toys? Yeah, rack toys. Yes. This was actually made by Mattel yeah. in 1985. How cool is that? Oh, no, wait. Made by MG Toys, licensed by Mattel. Uh, so okay. Yeah. So MG right. Toys, 1985. That's going to be like the NASTA for Transformers, um, and they did the little voice changer and the miscellaneous. Well, I I, I need this. Yeah, well. <laughs> yeah. You, 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 you're just scratching the surface here. You don't even... You don't I know. Even, I'm not even, even going to have any money left for the toy show if I'm just buying all your weird stuff see, here. This is just... And we're still refining, you know, we're not done. There's best best master's figure ever, right there. Uh, mosquito or he's, he's the best. What is this? This was awesome. I'm forgetting what it's called at the moment. But, you know, it's like, you know, uh, Hungry Hippos. But, you know, you take your dinosaurs and you get our bones, you know, and you drop them in here and whoever gets the most wins. That's amazing. But it's just a cool... I, I figured it out and now I'm drawing a blank, but it's... I have a guy who keeps coming and just bringing me like 80s, 90s toy, you know, related books. And I collect this more odd stuff. See that? What's that? Oh, yeah. I used to have this book when I was a kid. I totally remember the uh, the cover art. All right, so we'll pull that one out. <laughs> this is your office? Yeah. <laughs> you can't sit down. Look you can't. Is it just a box? Uh, well, attorney's over there. Oh, the parts are up there? Yeah, and then, yeah, Beautiful. it's complete, minus the windshield, I think. Oh, really? That's oh, awesome. Yeah. Uh, that's a tough box to get. 
Oh, the hive. It's not in there, but it's the box. I have a hive at home, but I don't have the box, and I think mine's missing most of its pieces. But, uh, yeah, that's another one where the box art's, like, so cool. Yeah, I'm just in love with that. Uh, I love when they did this kind of stuff. But, again, it's... Electric the, train and battle set. And it's more the artwork that I, I just... I, I just love this painting. Of course. So this was a train set for G.I. Joe. Uh... And, you know, there's your guys and, you know, all your Joe cars and helicopters and Cobra tanks. And Man, that is cool. Yeah, this. And then this was another one. This was highway trucking. Look at that. Electric trucking. Wow. So that's just like your RC cars. that were Right. Oh, look at that. It's just so cool. It is so cool. But it's, it's this package. I'm not going to play with this train set. Right. I just want to look at this forever and figure out who owns that art. <laughs> right, and try right. To buy it. And try to track it down. By... <laughs> I know. Horn box. Oh, I, I, uh, I love it. Look at that. This is an amazing selection of, look at all these carded 2003 era turtles. I mean, this is just something you don't see a lot of these days. Turtle Bot was awesome. Draco, man, this is so cool. It's amazing. 1995. So Winged Warrior Donatello was his name from 95 so he's toward that's like at the very very end yeah. of the original run so he's supposed to have wings on his back and those are broken in fact look there's a peg still in there yeah yeah but this is still amazing oh my god i want this too <laughs> quit showing me all this weird stuff oh he's so good the color scheme is amazing on this yeah. the black and purple which but black and purple already look so cool together mm -hmm. cool. and then he's got like that chrome silver to top it off oh my god that's amazing dang man all right <laughs> so this here this is another this is another thing i've been after for a while um i know that at first you look at this and you're like well that just is probably what that's panthor with no flocking on it but this is actually uh, a release from Mattel in the 70s. It was part of the Tarzan line. That's where these molds came from. So originally this mold was used for the Big Jim toy line as a tiger. Then they released it with their Tarzan line as this Black Panther. They just painted the tiger black. And of course, famously, this went on to become Battle Cat and then Panthor for Masters of the Universe in the 80s. So I've been wanting to get both the Big Jim Tiger and the Tarzan Black Panther for a while. And here's a Black Panther. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can grab this, cause this is, this is a good find for me. This is something I've really been after. So I've got myself a small pile of really cool finds from Toy Federation, and I think this is where I'm gonna call it. It's time to chat with Ryan and negotiate some prices and get ready to take my spoils home with me. After all, I still have a weekend at Retro Toy Con to prepare for, but I gotta tell you guys, my time here at Toy Federation was pretty incredible. While I got myself a pretty small haul, it's a really cool haul of random weird things and that's exactly what I like to see. But you'll find all kinds of things in the store from the weird and random like I found to some of the more mainstream or even the things that you don't really remember until you see it in person. Great selection from all of the different brands and franchises you love, and even to the most obscure 80s stuff or random knockoffs. A lot of really, really cool things can be found within the walls of Toy Federation here in Greenville, South Carolina.
Man, I had an amazing time at Toy Federation. There's just so much in there to look at. It's almost overwhelming, but I found some pretty awesome stuff, if I say so myself. Some stuff that I like to collect. A few pieces I've been personally looking for, and I got the hookup in here from Ryan. Ryan is such a great dude. He's got such a passion for this. Uh, and all the guys in here were fantastic. So if you are in the area, if you're anywhere near Greenville, South Carolina, I would highly recommend hopping over to Toy Federation and checking it out. And I still have a whole weekend ahead of me at Retro Toy Con. So I have to make sure I save some money for that. So stay tuned. We've got more toy hunting to do.